Hey everybody, Ben at Classic Firearms here. We're here in the beautiful back corner of our warehouse here at Classic Firearms today to try to bring you some video footage of what our latest batch of Chinese SKSs look like. We're kind of stuffed back here because we don't have any other options today. They're doing paving work out in our parking lot, so they're using jackhammers and stuff. You'll probably hear whistles and horns and jackhammers in the background. Uh, we prefer to do these outside just don't have that option today and every other corner of this place is busy because due to the business you're giving us we're having a very busy summer we appreciate that anyway let's take a look at our SKS's Jordan's running the camera for me today this is an unopened box Jordan can you get the end of that and show the label uh, how these master cases come they come with five SKS's per master case we just grabbed one off a pallet we're going to open it up for you pull some rifles out Take a look at them. We're back after that unexpected interruption. Uh, the last thing I asked Jordan, our lovely camera person, was do we have enough battery to shoot this uh, video? Of course, what did you say, Jordan? There you go. Thank you very much. Did we? Okay, so our battery went dead. We're going to pick up where we left off. We've opened the master pack here. Inside we have five unopened boxes of SKSs. The way these are coming to us this time, unlike our last ones, is they're coming individually bagged. We're just going to go ahead and open these up. Individually, let's take a close look at what we're dealing with. Jordan, come in and get a good close up on this beautiful thing. They're printing protectors. Oh, that's cute. They literally cut a garden hose to make protectors for the bolt handles. But they're putting protectors over the bolt handles so they don't break through the boxes. You see, they're covered in cosmoline but everything appears intact. Fairly good stocks on this group. Let's set that aside and pull another. I'm gonna go ahead and open all the boxes at once so I can bring them out individually. Another, let's see what we end up with, George. If I can figure out exactly how these things are packed in here, we'll make it easier. This one actually looks a little better than the first. See, the blue end is very good on this one. Still, you see the heavy cosmoline. Good solid strong stocks. This one has a cleaning rod. We've noticed that some do, some don't. But all have their blade type bayonets. I'll take that down later, it's too greasy, I can't get my hands on it. Let's try another one. trying to go quickly for video purposes but I don't want to cut the rifles it's not like they're show pieces to start with cosmetically but we don't want to add any scratches to them here's another bolt protector
see a lot of cosmoline on these, but these are actually cleaned up much better than our last bunch were. They all have the heavy lug barrels right here, so they're early screwed in barrels. They all have the milled one piece trigger housings. All the safeties should be intact. Again, the bayonets, blade type. A lot of people ask us what's the best thing to clean this cosmoline with. Different people use different things. I've heard oven cleaner, I've heard brake cleaner. I've tried pretty much all of it, cleaned up hundreds of these. What I really prefer is mineral spirits. Mineral spirits is inexpensive, you can get it at Lowe's. And it really thins that cosmoline to the point that it just wipes right off. More than that, it's already a little oily. So it leaves a nice finish on the gun without over drying it for both the metal and the wood. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if you can see the colors, it's kind of dark back here, but this is a little bit more of a reddish stock. That one's so full of cosmoline, it took a while for the uh, follower to bring the bolt hold open device up, but it did. Bayonet, cleaning rod on this one, sight hood of course. And let's try one more, we've done a whole crate. Here's some of our warehouse work going on in the background. Got some young guys in here packing over on the other side. They're not terribly sensitive to the fact that we're trying to produce a uh, award-winning video over in this corner of the warehouse. Cody, what are you building a house over there? <laughs> I think they're packing up some ammo shipments to go out. Here's our last one, a little more blue in wear here but certainly it should be very functional. <clears throat> we sold probably a couple of thousand of these last year in 2014. We ran out early part of this year. There it goes, bolt device was stuck with all the heavy cosmoly. Those came in from a different importer than these. This importer tells us that they paid a little more to get the cream of the crop out of this batch that has been stored in a neutral country for the last 20 years. That's how they're importable. That batch is entirely used up. We do not expect any more Chinese SKS rifles to come into the country. These are early Vietnam era guns prior to the US involvement in Vietnam probably. Uh, very nice rifles. They are CN eligible. If you're looking for a beauty queen, don't get it. This is a good representation of what you can expect. But if you want a good functional rifle that you should be able to clean up and enjoy for a long time, that is also a piece of history, here you go. We've got the full story about them on our site. We thank you for taking a look at them. And as always, check us out at www.classicfirearms.com.